What is going on everybody, Estas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, looking at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're going to be talking about one trade that I made today on the 6th of March in 2019, as well as taking a look at some other stocks and ETFs that are doing very well and that I personally see potential in over these next couple of weeks. And I know you guys saw in the title of today's video, is the stock market finally, finally selling off? We're going to be talking about that as well in today's video. But before we do get into these topics, for everybody out there that finds value in these videos, you enjoy the content here on YouTube, feel free to go down below and hit that like button, guys. It really does help support the channel's growth. And if you're new to the community and you want to be a part of a super supportive and helpful community, feel free to go down below and join our 100% free discord group chat and 100% free facebook group again free linked down below in the description box and without further ado let's talk about what's been going on so far today in the 6th on the 6th rather of march in 2019 in the overall stock market starting off here with the spx the s p 500 index the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the U.S. stock market, we can see as of right now, guys, with about 15 minutes left in the market, we're down about 15 points, down about 0.54% in the S&P 500. The Dow Jones is down about 100 points right now, down about 0.4%. And the NASDAQ composite has been down or is down rather the most out of the three major indices, down about 0.55%, down about 40 points on the dot as of right now with 15 minutes left in the overall market. So overall, guys, what the technicals on these major indices are telling me, well, they're telling me that we're finally starting to break downwards in the overall market. And for those of you guys that have been watching the videos for a while, you no, we always do an overall market update in the beginning of every single video throughout the week so we can get a better understanding of where the markets are pushing so we can plan our trades accordingly. And for those of you guys that watched yesterday's video, we were talking about this very critical support level on the SPX that we actually ended up breaking below today, guys, today. And that support level was at the bottom of this uptrend pattern or channel rather that we've been trading in over these past couple of weeks that you can see here on the 30 day 90 minute chart and we were talking about how if we were to break down here below the support that is a step towards the downwards direction that we could potentially be seeing more sell-off in the overall markets. Now, what I'm seeing heading towards the close of the market, guys, we're seeing that we're holding this 50 simple moving average support here on this 180-day four-hour chart. And this is what we need to see a break beneath of for the entire market to continue to sell off. So like you saw in the title of today's video, is the stock market finally, finally selling off? I think we've seen three or two or three rather indications that we are selling off the first one being the break of the 50 SMA I believe three days ago and we can see that here on this 30 day 90 minute chart and I talked about this as well in yesterday's video actually there might be four indications three or four indications the first one actually is that double top we were talking about in yesterday's video which is a very very bearish sign that's the first sign that a stock ETF future index whatever we're doing our analysis in is going down in price so we saw the double top here. The second step is the break below the EMA and the 50 SMA. So that's two indications. Now today, we got our third indication, the break below the support of this upwards trending channel on the 30 day 90 minute chart. And the fourth thing, the fourth thing that we want to see to 100% confirm that downwards push in the overall markets guys here, especially here on the SPX, which is honestly the most important index 
stocks, in my opinion, to do your analysis on is this 50-day simple moving average, guys. If we do end up breaking this 50 SMA support here, that's going to be a huge, huge break of this upwards trend pattern that we've been in, honestly, over these past couple of months since the beginning of 2019. So what am I watching for tomorrow, guys? I'm going to be watching for this fourth indication that we are selling off in the overall stock market here with the SPX, which is going to be the break below the 50 SMA. And sure, let's say tomorrow we end up holding this and we're pushing up and let's say we start to have a solid green day. Well, that's just going to confirm that the SPX is likely making a new higher low at this point from the previous low at about $2,700. But let's say that doesn't happen. We absolutely blow through the support. The next level I'm going to be waiting for, guys, is probably down here at about the $2,740 level, which is going to put us right at the previous resistance, which is obviously a new support right now at about $2,740. And if we break below that, guys, that's going to start to get pretty ugly in terms of the SPX. So keep an eye on on those levels, super, super important. But as of right now, with about 12 minutes left in the market, it is looking like we're holding this 50 SMA support and only time will tell and really the, the uh, us doing our analysis on the futures tomorrow and the next day that's going to tell where we're going what direction we're heading in in terms of the SPX now if we take a look here on the Dow Jones we're down about $110 right here in terms of this index and let me quickly draw these resistance levels so we can get a better understanding of where we are at in terms of this indice so let me just quickly get this to this level and obviously for all you guys that have been doing your own analysis you've been following along with these videos you know about these points already right the sell-off from the beginning of November and the sell-off in the beginning of December those two points you know are now resistance points in terms of the indice right because we broke below and now we have to find our way out of those levels to test all-time highs but it's very clear here that we got rejected by the resistance from back in the beginning of November we broke the support and, uh, you know, from the beginning of December, which we broke above, making it a new support yesterday, I believe, or the day before. We had that big red day. We broke below that support. But just like the SPX, guys, we're holding this 50 SMA as a support right now on this 180-day four-hour chart. So that is what I want to see a break beneath of for more red in terms of the Dow Jones and ultimately a break below around the 25,500 mark, which is around 200, 300 points below from where we are right now. And if we're judging on a closer basis here on the 30 day, 90 minute chart, we can see that exact break from the support or at the support of the channel, just like the SPX today, we broke below it, which is a very big sign that we're selling off. And we saw the double top as well that we talked about in yesterday's video, the break below the 50 SMA, as well as the EMA here on the 30 day, 90 minute chart. And the fact that we're breaking below the support of the channel, that's about three indications that we're selling off with the fourth one being the potential break of that 50 SMA here on the 184 hour chart. So keep an eye on all of those levels, guys. Let's say we start to break down, down here. What is that pattern going to look like? It's going to look like the beginning of a head and shoulders, right? Because this would be the left shoulder in that scenario. This would be the head. And let's say we start to break down here and let's say we start to pop back up. That is going to be the right shoulder forming. So keep an eye on that potential pattern, guys. Not saying it's going to 100% happen. All I'm saying is keep an eye on it, guys, because that could end up happening. Anything is a possibility here on the stock market. Nobody can predict the future if they say they can run away, run the opposite direction because they're 100% lying to you. All we can do is, you know, judge the past technicals here, draw our trend lines, draw our supports, channels, all the different stuff we do on this channel, uh, the YouTube channel, and that'll give us a good understanding of the overall markets. And that's just how you got to do it, guys. That's just honestly how you have to do it. So that is what we're looking at in terms of the Dow Jones. We can see we're slowly climbing up here towards the close of the market. And we'll take a look back in a couple of minutes here when the market does close so we can see where we ended up closing but in terms of the nasdaq guys we're down about forty dollars and fifty cents right now down about 
0.6%. And let me just quickly draw out some resistance levels here on the NASDAQ so we can get a better understanding of some future potential movement in the overall index. So we can see we're kind of trading. Well, actually not anymore now that we had this red day. We kind of broke below this support that we were trading above yesterday in between this little horizontal channel, um, you know, from the previous two resistances. Obviously, we broke above the resistance, the first resistance, a couple of days ago, making it a new support level. Now we broke below that support level, which is honestly not too good of a sign for further uptrend push in terms of the NASDAQ. But we're still technically holding a higher low from the previous and the uptrend pattern is still kind of intact here in terms of the NASDAQ. So what am I going to be watching, guys? Well, if we look on this 30 day, 90 minute chart, it's going to look not as similar as the uh, SPX and the Dow. If we're looking here on the 30 day, 90 minute chart, guys. We're kind of getting a different picture than we see on the SPX and the Dow Jones. As you guys recall, the SPX and the Dow show a clear, uh, you know, a clear break of the channel on the 30-day, 90-minute chart, but the NASDAQ doesn't really show that clear break quite yet because we're still holding this 180 SMA um, support level, which has clearly been a nice support over these past 30 days. So what am I what am I going to wait for for a further break to the downside here? I really want to see a break below this support level in terms of the NASDAQ, putting us maybe at about 7,100 flat and getting back into that 7,050 level, maybe 7,075 level. And from there, we're going to be watching, let's see, some clear um, support levels. Let's see, uh, from there, probably around like $6,950. That's going to be a level we're going to be keeping an eye on for potential sell-off to. Maybe this 180 SMA, maybe it's going to act as a support. I'm going to be watching that level very closely in terms of the NASDAQ. But as of right now, guys, the NASDAQ is actually holding its chart or trend rather more than the, uh, you know, obviously more than the Dow Jones and the SPX based on that 30 day, 90 minute chart that we did just take a look at. So that is what the overall markets are looking like now with about five minutes left in the overall market, we can see that up here. I don't know if you guys can see this area or or, it's, uh, or if it's cut off, but we have about four minutes and 50 seconds left in the market. And to answer the question, is the stock market finally, finally selling off? You know, we have one more technical break in terms of the SPX for the answer to that question to be yes on a technical basis. So as of right now, guys, we're about 75% um, way there in my personal opinion from my understanding and from my technical analysis sure you guys may see things differently but this is my point of view and that's what the youtube channel is for right to share my point of view hopefully you guys can learn some things from it and that's just what i personally think so drop a comment down below let me know what do you guys think are we going to start selling off are we finally going to see some big pullback in the year of 2019 that we've been waiting for because as you guys know you know, we're up nearly 15, 16 at the highest 17% in terms of the SPX here in the matter of just two months, two, two months and about six days. That's a huge, huge push with a pullback being kind of inevitable at this point, in my opinion. So let me know down below. What do you guys think about this? And let's talk about what I personally traded today on the 6th of March in 2019. So in terms of what I traded today, guys, I traded ticker symbol TVIX. And for those of you guys that watched the video yesterday, this is actually an ETF that I was talking about potentially trading today if the SPX broke that support level on the channel that we were talking about earlier, which it ultimately did today, which is why I actually ended up trading TVIX. And for those of you guys that don't know, TVIX is a market-based ETF, meaning it trades based upon the overall market, specifically the SPX, the S&P 500. And whenever the S&P 500 is selling off, it's red, which it was today, TVIX goes up in price as we can clearly see here the ETFs up about 1.6% right now up about 5.3% and this is one that I ended up trading this morning on a very quick little day trade you know right around this time period here and for all you guys that don't know 
one of my day trading strategies that I, uh, you know, uh, you know, partake in is following stocks or ETFs that are selling down, heading into the market open, opening up a market. Exactly what ended up happening here in TVIX. We can see the pre-market high was at about thirty dollars and thirty cents. We ended up selling off all the way down to about twenty-nine dollars and sixty cents, opening up a two percent margin of profit. And from here, what I try to do as a day trader is capitalize on the potential gap fill back up to that pre-market resistance. So that's exactly what ended up happening here in terms of TVIX. And whenever I'm trading TVIX, guys, I always have a double screen here usually, meaning you can do, you know, two screens. You could put the TVIX uh, ticker here and you can also put the SPY or the SPX um, indice. And, you know, I watch the chart of what is going on with the SPX, you know, early on in the market. Are we making lower lows? Are we pushing down? Which would obviously drive up TVIX in price. And that's exactly what we ended up seeing this morning in terms of the SPX. And let me quickly pull it up for you guys. So what I wait for is I wait to see if we're going to open up red and continue the red push to the downside and is the 50 SMA and the EMA are these two moving averages going to act as resistance points because if they do that is a good sign that we're going to continue to push down we can clearly see here guys there goes the market the SPX has been getting rejected pretty much all day by that 50 SMA indicator so we opened up the day a gap down from yesterday's close which was a good sign that we were going to start selling off in the morning and then we started to see some difficulty breaking out of this 50 SMA but this was actually far after from when I ended up getting out but just to paint um, the picture for you guys you know this is what I wait for in terms of entry points I wait to see a possible rejection at the 50 SMA and then as we're getting rejected and we're pushing down for that lower low this is when I hop into TVIX to profit on the upside when the SPX is selling off but this morning guys I pretty much ended up getting in literally within five, seven minutes of the market open. And I profited on this downwards push from about 27.87 down to about 27.80. This little 20 minute window here, roughly on the SPX. That's where I ended up making my money this morning on TVIX on this initial push from about 9.30 a.m. You can see it started to push back up you know, at about 29.85, I believe is where I got in. And we were slowly filling the gap back up to the upside as the SPX was selling off, right? We can see the clear correlation SPX is selling off. This is starting to push up. And that is where I ended up getting my profits from about 29.85 ish, right around here, up about 1%. 1.2% is where I ended up taking my profits at about $30 and 20, 25 cents, roughly quick in and out day trade on TVIX. And that's pretty much it guys. You know, I always keep an eye on the SPY for the pre-market movement. And then I see what the SPX is doing at the open of the market. If we're pushing down, if the SMAs are acting as resistances, that's a good sign to hop into TVIX with a tight stop loss. That's what I ended up doing today. And that's that's how I profited about one 1.1 uh, percent, you know, on this trade. So a lot of you guys know I'm in two other swing trades right now, one in Johnson and Johnson and another one in Coca-Cola. Just to do a quick little update on these two Johnson and Johnson's one that is actually very close to my limit sell order right around here at about $140 is where I do have that sell at this previous support, which is now obviously a new resistance. I'm in this one now. I forget how many weeks at this point. It's probably probably about two, two and a half weeks. Ended up getting in at about 135.50 ish been holding since then with the plan to sell at about 140 not much has changed guys i've just been simply holding the shares and another stock i'm in is coca-cola i've been in this one at about uh since about 45 dollars still holding on to these shares with the goal to add more if we do end up breaking above this 46 dollar resistance and if we don't guys let's say we double top here slowly start to sell off i might consider 
taking the little profit that I do have right now. Literally, I don't have much profit at all on the table right now. And the whole goal with this trade was to hold through the X dividend date, which is about the 13th, I believe, of this month. So in a month, or not a month, a week from right now, guys, I'll be able to claim the dividends on Coca-Cola, even if I do end up selling the stock after that. So that's a pretty cool thing about holding through the X dividend date, you can get the shares or the dividends from the shares, even if you sold off the shares. So if that makes any sense, you know, let me know down below in the comment section. If you guys want me to clarify that, feel free to shoot me a DM on anything. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Coca-Cola is still holding on tight. And uh, that's just the trading update for today. You know, Johnson & Johnson, Coca-Cola is still holding on. Quick little TVIX day trade this morning. That is the update. So let's talk about Five, I think five or six stocks I'm currently watching right now. I have a list here on my phone that I see potential in over these next couple of weeks. And let's run through those right now. The first one being ticker symbol SPOT, Spotify, ticker symbol SPOT. And this one, guys, I'm liking this reversal uptrend pattern that we are seeing in this stock. We can see the 50 and the 180 SMAs have been strong, strong resistances over the past couple of months, judging on this 184 hour chart. And since then, we found the bottom at about $101. This was towards the end of December when obviously a ton of stocks got crushed. This stock in particular, guys, Oh my God, it lost half of its value. I did not realize that till right now from $200 to $100. Holy crap, this is probably the most brutalized stock out there. Probably not. That's probably an exaggeration, but this is definitely one of the stocks that got hit the hardest. And from there, guys, you know, we saw... A nice strong reversal pattern to the upside. We saw the break above the 50 SMA, ultimately the break above the 180 SMA, the 50 SMA crossing above the 180 SMA, which is a super bullish sign. We're seeing higher lows, higher highs. We just pushed to the higher high at about 153. And the fact that I like this, or the reason rather why I like the stock right now is because we pulled back from 153 down to about 136, opening up that margin of profit of about 10% and we're holding a higher low from the previous low, continuing the uptrend pattern, and right now we're at a breakout resistance spot, meaning if we break out of this 143, 145-ish level, we're going to be breaking out of a previous resistance, which it honestly looks like we're already doing, and if we break above the 50 SMA, which is the last resistance we're looking at, we're going to be testing that previous high at about 153, which is where I want to profit and capitalize on ticker symbol SPOT. So on this one, I want to see the continuation of the uptrend, ultimately for a push to a higher high so I can capitalize on this continuation of the uptrend. So SPOT looking very good right now, guys. Cron is another one that I'm watching today. Well, for the rest of this week, honestly, this one we saw a big push today. I believe it went up to about $24.30. Let me double check. Yep, $24.30 in the morning. And then we got that big pullback that I was waiting for and that I talked about in yesterday's video, right? For those of you guys who watched yesterday's video, I was talking about Cron because Cron and ACB yesterday, Aurora Cannabis, they both did very well. I believe ACB was up about 13%. Cron was up about 10% yesterday. And I want to see a little bit of a retracement in these two stocks that potentially hop in. And that is what we ended up getting today. And on Cron in particular, guys, why I like it is because we're holding this 50 SMA support at a higher low from the previous. And what I want to capitalize on, guys, just like Spot, SPOT, I want to capitalize on the continuation of the uptrend here from about $22.75, maybe $23 as a potential entry point, back up to about $24.30, $24. $25 at that resistance. So the, the pullback today, guys, really opened up some nice, nice margin. And that is why I'm watching Crime, ticker symbol C-R-O-N. Another one I want to talk about today is mighty old Tesla stock, ticker symbol T-S-L-A. And for those of you guys that don't know Tesla, You've been living under a rock for the past 10 years. Tesla is an electric car company. We all know this. I made a video yesterday talking about how I actually bought in to Tesla stock finally as a long-term position at about $273. But in a swing trading aspect right now, 
Tesla is looking decently attractive if we hold these levels that we're at. And let me show you guys and explain what I'm talking about here. We can see over the past two, three days at this point, Tesla's been holding the 275 support level from back here in the beginning of September in 2018. Let's say we end up holding this heading into tomorrow and we see a significant break into the 280s. I think that could be a good entry point for a potential swing back up to the 305, excuse me, maybe 310 level, which would be at the top of this downwards trending channel. Another thing could end up happening. Let's say tomorrow or the next day or next week, we end up breaking this support here. We can end up heading down to the 260 level, which would put us at the support of this channel, the downwards trending channel that we were just talking about. And from there, we could potentially enter here for that upwards push back to the top of this channel again, which would ultimately be around the 300 low $300 level. So I do see a lot of potential in Tesla right now as a, as a swing trade, but we need to see those technical um, indications for us to get in that I just talked about before ultimately getting in. So that's Tesla, guys. Ticker symbol TSLA. Another one that I'm watching is YY, ticker symbol YY. This is one that did very well yesterday. I forgot exactly what percent or how much percent it was up, but it was up, I believe, like maybe 12, 15% yesterday. And we pulled back holding this old, or resistance rather, as a new support at about $80 this morning. I was looking for a potential trade there, but we obviously saw the 5% red day today pushing us below that support. And now what I'm waiting for is to see if we're going to hold this next support at about $74, $75. Or actually this one right here is at about $76. Let me quickly draw that for you guys right here. And this is actually the level that we're looking like we're holding towards the end of the market today. And this is the level from back in the on the uh, 25th of February, we, we popped up to here, making it a resistance. And obviously we broke above it, making it a new support. So right now I'm going to be waiting to see, are we going to fill this gap back up to maybe $80? And if we break that level, are we going to go back to $85? I think there's a lot of potential here in terms of YY stock. But obviously if we break this level to the downside, I'm not really going to be watching this as a trade until we end up establishing a new support level from there. So that's what I'm watching, guys. Ticker symbol YY. Let's see. Two more here. LYB is another one that I'm personally watching right now. This one had a very, very solid day today, up about 6%. We can see this one was not on an uptrend pattern. It's not on a downtrend pattern. It's actually in a horizontal pattern, a very perfect, honestly, horizontal pattern with us being at the resistance of this pattern right now. So why am I watching this? Because we're at a resistance right now. Well, I'm watching to see if we're going to break out of this resistance and form a potential breakout pattern to the upside, guys. Because whenever we break out of a horizontal pattern, that is a breakout point in a stock, ETF, index, or future. And this is something that we could potentially capitalize on because it's a very, very bullish move. So from here, you know, let's say we break out of this point, you know, the next spot of resistance is going to be, let's say, technically you can say at about $90, but if we break the whole $89, $90 range, we can end up going back up to about $96, which could open up a nice fat chunk of profit. We can see from about 89 up to 90 guys, that's about 7.5%. So keep an eye on this level. We could potentially fill this gap if we do break out of this resistance. But of course, tomorrow, let's say we sell off here, you know, keep an eye for the potential bounce on the support at about 84, $85. And from there, we could end up getting in on an even better discount deal and capitalize to the upside here at about $90. And of course, if we break out of there we can go up to $96. So if we break down, let's say from $84 up to $95, that's about a 13% margin of profit. So LYB, watching that one very, very closely. And the last one, guys, is LABU. This chart doesn't look too great. It does kind of look like a falling knife still here, but I'm watching for a potential support on this uptrend pattern that we're still technically on 
based on this little trend line that I just drew for you guys. So if we do end up holding this tomorrow, slowly push up, we can end up capitalizing on a nice push back up to about $65. And for those of you guys that don't know, LABU is a biotechnology ETF. It goes up in price whenever the index it follows, SPS IBI is going up in price as well. So we saw a big tank today in SPS IBI. Just keep an eye on this 50 SMA on the 184-hour chart. Are we going to hold this tomorrow to potentially push back up? That is what I want to see for an entry point in LABU. So those are the stocks ETFs that I'm personally watching right now. Now, let's take a look at what the market ended up closing at. We can see we're still holding above the 50 SMA. Okay, the NASDAQ, let's see where this ended up closing. All right, so we pretty much closed right at the levels. Actually, this one tanked down to about 0.75% at the close. So we, we sold off a bit more in the NASDAQ, the Dow, right around the same level, down a little bit more from when we started this video. So keep an eye on those 50 SMA support levels, guys, on the Dow and in terms of the SPX. Those are levels that are huge, huge, huge that we want to see a potential break down below for the continuation of the downtrend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let me know how you ended up doing today in the comment section. As always, I appreciate your support and I appreciate all you guys watching. Peace out.